Hello everybody and welcome back to another Vintage vs. Classified comparison video. I'll try to make this quick, um, but this is where we compare our Vintage counterpart and see how Classified updated or changed a few things or for the most part kept things um, how they were. Starting with accessories, our Vintage one came with this large LMG, the giant scope. Um, his bag of TNT, very massive back piece, um, very blocky, very heavy, and two flashlights, which I only have one of them. I hope I can find another one at some point, but I only have the one. And yeah, I think I only need the other one, and he is 100% complete. Um, but yeah, I think that is correct. Um, you know, just going through these two guys, I see a lot of similarities, or they kept some things I'm um, very similar, um, but yeah, uh, Classified kept that nice LMG and tried to replicate it in some way. Um, did they do a good job? You be the judge if this can focus, can you focus for me? And there it goes. I swear the camera's not working today for me, but, um, and I added a sort of elastic key strap. But the classified had, um, you know, a movable bipod there, which we can see is sculpted on the vintage one. Man, why is this focus not focusing? Come on. We have a bipod scope. What are you focusing on? The background? Yeah. Probably Luke Cage on the back there. All right, we removed Luke Cage and we can continue our comparison video. Big scopes. Um, not the same sort of barrel that we see with um, the vintage one. It's a little bit different. The front here is kind of the same. Well, now it's not going to focus because of the figures. But yeah, kind of similar there. Um, again, this grip is very long. Um, so classify kind of tone that down. Um, the stock here looks very similar too. Um, so yeah, and then we classified one head and added a magazine. Um, there which is very nice but yeah very similar lmgs um classified has our um tnt pouch here which of course it doesn't say tnt like the vintage one but we do have it there um we have similar back pieces um here again very blocky very big um on the classified and we have the two flashlights like we did with the vintage so it's very cool to see Furthermore, Classified added some goggles, removable night vision goggles, which is, you know, efficient, especially if you're in very tight tunnels. Um, with that being said, we do have the removable revolver here, or snub um, revolver, which goes in his holster there on the chest and a removable knife here on the side. Now, getting down to the details, both of these guys, let's start with the feet. Now, I always like the vintage one because um, he always seemed to have like cowboy boots that that just looks to me like cowboy boots um, were classified. Just gave him like regular boots, um, which is fine, you know, but I always like that sort of aesthetic from Donald Rat. Um, and then, yes, we have the black pants and gray pants. A lot of people went out of their way to get the Night Force version of the classified Tunnel Rat. I did not, but people did that switch of the pants because the Night Force one had black pants. And yes, yeah, some people just did the switcheroo and you know that worked out for them and they're happy now. I'm happy with how this classified tunnel rack came out, so I, I don't think I'll be doing that anytime soon. Um, but we don't have any pouches here on his on the vintage right leg. Um, we do have this uh, added pouch here on the classified and then we have some more pouches added next to the knife sheath which we we do not have with the vintage one so there's some slight updates there um, the belt buckle here is squared rather than um, circular which is you know a small little detail that they changed and yeah the belt is gray on the vintage and they kept it gray for the classified uh, moving further up, we do have the revolver and all of these things are overlays or layers on top of the torso. So we have a separate holster piece, separate belt piece, um, the, the TNT piece and the handkerchief piece. 
and then we have a grenade that's sort of attached to the holster there and the joe pro jo joe con or whatever they're that we're calling it um yeah you can see we have the same grenade there our pistol holstered there and our ammo belt and our handkerchief with the vintage one and yeah so the ammo belt goes all the way around which is nice for a vintage figure um but yeah kept a lot of that the same can't complain there um there's the back if you're interested in that um but the forearms are also slightly different in terms of the paint because i noticed that on the face um they just it's a one-to-one -one where the paint is we have one two three stripes and stripes on the classified face paint one two three on this side of the face we have one going down the nose so down the nose we have one on the forehead and then we get another one here on the forehead and then we get just one streak here on this side and we get that over here with the classified which is cool you know and now that we're on the head uh, you can see the the hair and the do rag on the classified bear which you know we can see the hair on the vintage one as well and the do rag little knot there so that yeah they stay very truthful to the vintage one so far um you know gloves are slightly different you know these are all black gloves here are gray with some um brown and exposed fingertips which is fine looks good um the paint here on the forearms are slightly different i don't know why this does not want to focus whatsoever um but yeah the paint we have like four simple streaks there on the forearm um the classified give us a little bit more like three yeah so yeah slightly different it goes all the way around as well so that's nice and the vintage one does too okay i should realize that yeah but still different sort of patterning not exactly the same and then here's this side and then i assume we have some on this side underside we have some more on the classified so that's cool i will say the vintage one has a nice little watch kind of thing there we don't have that with the classified so that's a bit unfortunate and then we get down to the nitty-gritty we have a little symbol here with the vintage with what barely resembles a rat and i'm glad that you know classified is able to uh, show that in much more greater detail ton of rat there yeah but it's still nice that you know it's on there for the vintage one i just always think these little symbols are pretty neat and pretty unique on these vintage ones one thing i do love about the classified though is that the height i mean we all know ton of rat is a rather short guy um, but you know they were able to showcase that a little bit better with classified you know here's him next to a six inch regular six inch figure duke and then we have our vintage uh, duke and toner right here and you can see these two are sort of the same height you know so they weren't really able to convey how short he was in the three quarter inch um, figures um, but with the classified they certainly can and we can see that height difference between these two all right everyone so i think that mostly does it for this video comparison if you saw my review you will know that i'm very happy with the classified um version um they really did just duck with uh, the old um design and there's nothing wrong with that you know um a lot of people complained about the overlays and whatnot with this figure but i don't really find it that annoying i can deal with it um, but yeah, I'm just overall happy with how the classified turned out and, and that they kept a lot of the elements of the um, vintage one. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, between the two, do you just prefer your three quarter inch figure or do you like how classified um, did this figure? Um, I also have to mention great resemblance to um, Larry Hama, who was the I think he was the original writer or a creator, not creator, but the original comic book um, writer um, of G.I. Joe. Um, you know, he, he and he did a lot of the designs or did he do designs? I feel like he did, but he also did a lot of the bios and backgrounds for a lot of these characters. So um, I think at some point they created Tonorat in, in memory or you know and as an easter egg to larry hama and you know 
giving him that um, similar look um, to him. Um, but yeah, that mostly does it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in a future video.